I'm Peter Block at ACC 2019 in New Orleans, and with me on my left is Federico Ash from Washington, D.C. Uh, Federico, uh, everybody knows that the mitral clip is now turning out to be a pretty good thing. Quality of life has improved, patients' mortality has decreased. It seems to work. Uh, but the question obviously is what criteria can we use to choose these patients in the best way for our patients? What criteria will predict outcomes? So tell me about your trial and then what are the teaching points that your trial brings out? Thank you, Peter, for having me here. Um, uh, first of all, I want to say that the co-op trial applies for patients with secondary mitral regurgitation. Uh, primary mitral regurgitation has been already approved and tested before in other clinical trials. So what we discuss here applies to patients with heart failure that are symptomatic despite having uh, guideline-directed medical therapy on board, and then they were randomized to having the mitral clip or continued on the guideline-directed right. medical therapy. Um, I think one of the very important points here is how do we select these patients because this is a technology that may not be best for everyone. The criteria that we use was a multi-parametric uh, algorithm using multiple of the mitral regurgitation parameters such as effective regurgitant area, pulmonary vein flow reversal, and depending on how big or how bad these um, uh, specific criteria were, we requested for additional one or two extra criteria such as color Doppler, such as vena contracta, regurgitant volume, and regurgitant fraction. So I think it's very important that as we think of our patients in clinical practice to be good candidates for a mitral clip in this scenario, we should look into this specific criteria that is adapted from the American College of Cardiology and American Society of ECHO guidelines, but it's not strictly the okay. same. So you actually started with a group of criteria and then we dug down further on if they met those. So what are the outcomes? What did you show? So we did a, a very detailed analysis for every one of the echocardiographic um, clinical criteria, ejection fraction, volumes, dimensions, mitral regurgitation, tricuspid regurgitation, and we looked um, whether those patients that had worse or better in each of these echo criteria had a, a better or worse outcome, okay. basically looking for uh, responders and not responders. And what we saw was very striking that whether we looked at the worst or the better on each of these criteria, the mitral clip seem to work on every single one of these subgroups. Okay, so if I'm a doc and I call you on the phone and say, look, I have a patient with bad functional mitral regurgitation and I want to know what I should look for on my echo to tell me whether my patient will get better or not, what's your answer? My answer is make sure that you have a 3 plus or 4 plus mitral regurgitation based on the multi-parametric algorithm and if the patient does fit and on that, chances are your patient is going to do well with the mitral clip. So you think the worst MR is the primary outcome here that you should look for? The, the outcome that we are proving in uh, co-opt is actually clinical outcome. It's no, 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 heart no. failure hospitalization. Okay, no, no, I mean the echo criteria that you have to look for. That is, is the main the one, severity? but it's not the only one. Okay. That there's many other parameters. For example, patients had to have an ejection fraction between 20 and 50%. The left ventricular end systolic diameter could not be larger than 70 millimeters, um, and, uh, and a few other criteria such as severe pulmonary hypertension was not included in this clinical trial. Uh, patients with severe right ventricular dysfunction were not included in this clinical what trial. What about TR? TR could not be severe um, uh, with severe pulmonary hypertension, but TR by itself uh, was a candidate for the trial. Okay, so there you have it. There's a list of the criteria that an echocardiographer should look for in order to figure out whether the patients would do well. And I think it's important to be able at the front end to say, look, there may be some patients who are not going to get better. Indeed, the, there may be. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we can get that answer from this clinical trial because the inclusion criteria in a clinical trial ought to be respected when we make our clinical decisions. The right. population that we evaluated in this clinical trial did not include patients with pulmonary, with severe pulmonary hypertension, for example. So some of those were thrown out so, at the front. So some of those were not tested in this clinical okay. trial. So yes. The good news also is that the echo criteria can predict outcome. Look carefully at your patients before you send them off for a mitral clip. I think that's a fair statement, isn't it, Francisco? Thank you.